Hey, GV. What's going on? I was just pondering where electricity comes from. Oh, that's easy. It comes from the dam. You mean up by the lake? Yeah, it's called hydroelectric energy. Hydro? You mean they use water to make electricity? Yeah, but I wonder, how does it work? I don't know, but looks like it's time for a trip to the lake. Wow, well, I'm, I'm inside that dam, but uh, I'm not sure exactly where they make hydroelectric power here. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, um, hi, my name's DV. My name's Mike. Nice to meet you. A friend of mine is curious as to how uh, hydroelectric power is generated. Uh, where do you guys actually make power in this dam? I have a pictorial over here that possibly could be some help. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, this is like a, a breakout of the actual dam here, isn't it? It sure is. To produce power, you need three things. You need uh, relative motion, you need a conductor, and you need a magnetic field. Okay, we take potential energy from the, from the lake, the reservoir, uh, J. Strong Thurman Reservoir, and uh, we harness this potential energy, and we convert it to mechanical usable energy. Uh, water comes through these large pipes we call pin stop. It flows past the, the scroll case, and it goes around a turbine. The turbine, it connects the shaft to the generator. It goes to our step-up transformer, which steps the voltage up for transmission. It then goes to a high-tension cable, and then goes to our switch yard, which is then distributed throughout South Carolina and Georgia. Cool. Do you think it'd be possible for me to uh, get some shots of the process of this? Sure. Uh, let's grab a hard hat and we'll go out to the headgate gallery and show you where this process begins. Oh, okay, so uh, you want me to wear one of these hard hats? Sure. Okay, thank you. All right, well, I'll let you lead the way. Okay. Oh, wow, this is a really nice day to be out here on the lake. It sure is. Uh, well, DB, here's where the uh, process starts. Uh, water from the lake, it enters into the dam. Before it gets into the dam, it enters the trash racks. And this prevents uh, any large debris, any logs or, or fallen trees to, to actually enter our units. Okay. So uh, from here, the water goes through and it enters our pin stock. Each pin stock is uh, 20 foot in diameter. So there's a lot of water going through. So a pin stock is, is like a really big tube then? Sure, come on, I can show you. Okay, let's go. Whoa, Mike, where have you taken me? What, what is this place? We're actually inside of one of the uh, main unit pin stops. Uh, we have seven units, so we have seven pin stops. Basically what this is, is a large pipe. This is 20 foot in diameter, and you could possibly place four cars on top of each other inside here. The other side of this head gate is the lake. In normal operations, this is completely full of water. Okay, so this is like right on the other side of where we just were. Correct. And water comes in here, and then uh, where does it go? Water comes in, and it goes through and it goes through a, a scroll case. And it's shaped like a, a, a snail. It's larger and it gets smaller as it goes around. And what this does is it goes around the turbine. The water turns the turbine at 100 RPM and it's coupled up in the wheel pit where it's coupled to the generator shaft. Well, do you think we could uh, look at the wheel pit? Let's go. All right. Well, oh, DB, this is what we call the wheel pit. This room uh, is where the turbine shaft and the generator shaft are coupled together. And this operating is connected to 24 wicket gates. The way these wicket gates work, they control the flow of water around the turbine. They open and close like Venetian blinds. Uh, when you need more power or more speed, they open up. During the shutdown process, they close to shut off water to the turbine. So this is actually being turned by water right this now? This unit is actually in operation and it is, is rotating at 100 RPMs and all this is done by the power of water. And from here, this goes up to the generator? Yes, correct. Uh, the turbine provides the relative motion to the generator and it's tied together by this shaft. Can correct. we go look at that? We sure can. This is actually the turbine out of Unit 7. Uh, it's a 55,000 horsepower turbine. Uh, water comes out of the scroll case, goes around, and it forces this to turn. Well, this is coupled to the uh, shaft to the generator, so uh, this is the prime mover that actually converts the uh, potential energy into mechanical usable energy. Okay, so this is what was under us down there in the Correct. wheel pit. This actually was under the wheel pit we saw earlier. Well, can we take a look at a generator? Sure. All right. This is the uh, generator floor. Here, here at J. Strong uh, Thurman Power Plant, we have seven main units. And this is unit one, which is going through a major rehab right now. Uh, coming up from the shaft we saw from the wheel pit, this is the shaft that comes up to the generator floor. That's where the, uh, the turbine shaft and the generator shaft tie together. Okay. 
Most of this shaft in normal operation is this rotor. This rotor turns at 100 RPMs and it's 72 fill poles. Each one of these is a magnet, electromagnet. Uh, when a voltage uh, is applied to these uh, poles, they produce a magnetic lines of flux. Those magnetic lines of flux are in induce a voltage on our stator core, is what we see here. And that voltage then passes through our isophase bus out to our transformer deck. Okay, well, can we go see the transformer deck? Sure, let's go this way. All right, so uh, all that power comes up here. What is this place? Well, you're on the transformer deck now, uh, basically, the three isophase buses that come out of your generator you have a 13.8 kV voltage. And it goes into a step-up transformer and steps it up to 115 kV. Uh, the reason we do this is because uh, once when you raise the voltage, you lower the current. And uh, this is for trans transmission purposes. So you have a smaller conductor and, and the voltage uh, pushes the current for a long distance, you know, farther distance. So from here, all the power is sent out to people's homes and and that sort of thing, but how do you control all that? Uh, well, that's done in the control room. Would you think we can look at that? I don't see why not. All right. So, if this is the control room, what exactly are they controlling it here? Well, DV, this is where they tie it all together. And this is where they start the unit, and also is where they stop the unit. Well, cool. I, I really appreciate you taking your time to, uh, to show me your job. This has been a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. Glad you enjoyed it. Um, before I go, I guess I better give you this. Oh, sure. <laughs> Thanks a lot, and uh, I gotta get back to my friends, so we'll see you. Okay, come Thanks again. Wow, DV, I can't believe you got to go into all those parts of the dam. Well, I was fortunate that uh, they're refurbishing one of the lines. Normally, all that's closed up. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, sure. I wonder if you can answer these questions. What three things are needed to make electricity? What is the potential energy being used at the dam? What apparatus actually makes electricity?